What if you reimagine the popular hospitality app, Airbnb, but instead of paying, users can clean for their stay? Introducing Acme, a fully responsive web application built for the Flutterflow Imagine competition in less than 30 days. Let's hear from the winner of the top design, Jamie Brown. Welcome to Acme. Acme is your favorite rental marketplace, just with a new novel payment method. So guests can pay for their stay by cleaning up after lazy or messy hosts. So we've all complained about how rental cleaning fees are way too high. And it's obviously inspired by that type of satirical product that Soren Iverson designs so well. I've kept the UI as clean as possible, but still trying to give it that depth and personality with subtle borders and shadows and emojis. It's super intuitive, so you can jump into it quickly and kind of just know where everything is immediately. So from the user perspective, it's all about booking a trip as efficiently as possible. So you can search and filter by the each individual country, but then each card also immediately shows the availability and the host details without having to go further into that profile to start with. And it's all based on intuitive swiping. So it's natural whether you're on desktop or mobile. It's fully responsive from desktop to tablet down to mobile with the padding structure controlled by page width variables. So that is one consistent UI across whichever device that you are using. Now, the fun bit of Acme comes with being able to switch it into cleaning mode. So this is just a simple toggle that switches the app state so that everything now defaults to paying with your time of cleaning for the host rather than obviously paying in cash. But there's also cleaning offers from hosts where they can pay a bonus to guests for visiting and cleaning. So Soren's place looks amazing, but it might be super dirty and he can't bother to clean. So he can put some availability onto Acme. I can go to his profile, check out the calendar for availability and book those dates by using a few hours of cleaning as my currency rather than paying in cash like I normally would, of course. But let's go back to that calendar, because this is a bit of a more serious technical part of Acme. So I'm not that technical. And whenever I'm building something, I always want it to be as simple as possible. Uh, but calendars are notorious for how complex they can get, of course. So I actually needed a lightweight, kind of fully customizable calendar for my actual startup arrive. But I couldn't find the right one on the forums or marketplace or pub spec. So I basically just built one myself with a lot of help from GPT-4. So everything in this calendar is all inside Flutterflow itself. It's not a custom code widget. It's just text, containers, and grids. Now, there's obviously a lot of custom functions that need to flow in a specific order to get this to work. But once you've got that, it's good. So you set a total months integer parameter, and then it dynamically generates that number of months dates in chronological grids so that you can control all the customization, highlighting, date picking, you know, visibility states, whatever it is that you need, but all natively within Flutterflow. So here it's obviously, you know, a rental booking calendar. So I added that start and end date display uh, with the dynamic price calculation, switching between the hours and the actual cash price. But you could obviously repurpose this calendar for appointments or events in apps like Calendly or Luma, or even project management tools like Linear or timelines like Notion. It's super versatile, and it's basically a simplified version of the full one that I have for my actual company Arrive. But I'm going to put this simplified version of it on the marketplace after a bit of tweaking and polishing. So I actually only started building in Flutterflow a few months ago. And I think that a tool like this, this calendar, can be pretty useful for people like me who don't want to use loads of custom code, but are very comfortable with tweaking designs from their experience with Figma, Framer, Webflow, tools like that. So yeah, that's Acme. It's a pretty twisted idea for a marketplace. Thank you, Soren, for that inspiration. But it's a nice mix of a clean UI, it's intuitive, but then blending in that really powerful function of the hybrid calendar. I hope you like it. And fingers crossed, it gets shortlisted for the win.